G'day everybody, it's me again. It's been a long time since I've done a video outside and I thought while it's dry and uh, I've got something here to kill I may as well uh, include you guys in the fun. So uh, I'm going to see how much this 150 watt uh, heating element likes 440 volts. Um, it came out of a, uh, a RV fridge like an evaporative, uh, sorry, a, an absorption fridge. So uh, Got it sat up there on a piece of uh, photocopier glass. Maybe we'll pop the glass too. Don't know. Some of these have internal, uh, what you'd call like uh, protection. So if they get too hot, they, you know, they either go open circuit or short circuit. To uh, well, you'd hope they'd go short circuit in some ways because then that would pop the fuse and then remove any current. So that might be a good idea. But anyway, I'll uh, turn on the amp meter here. Set to the 600 amp AC range. And I'm going to hit this button and then run like hell. It's only moving two amps. It's strange. It should, uh, by all means, want to die. That's my meter's fucked, is always the way. I found that uh, you can actually kill uh, inductive clamp meters by uh, feeding them bad frequencies, so it's possible that that's happened here. That's it. You're kidding me. Oh, here we go. Now it's starting to warm up. It's 0.6 of an amp. Like I said, I think that's wrong though. I think that's way wrong. That's on a face to face, so that's 440 volts. It's actually not quite as hot as it looks on camera. The uh, infrared pickup is uh, very sensitive, so. It's actually still more of a cherry red, not a, uh, a white like that looks in the video. Oh yeah, it's starting to get, get hotter now along the length though. Still only 0.6 of an amp. I think my clamp meter is bugged. Very bugged. Yeah, it's dead now. <laughs> what did I tell you about that glass? <laughs> oh, I didn't think it was going to do anything then. Didn't think it was going to do anything at all. I heard a fuse pop though, I know a fuse went. I heard it from here in the fuse box, so... Mmm, carnage. Switch off that and unplug. Safety first. My mate Larry always says safety first. My plugs are bigger, mate. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look at the damage here. I think it's blown a hole clean in the side of the... Uh, yeah, it's blown a hole clean in the side of the unit. And, oh yeah, that's hot. Well, the failure point actually seemed to have been the uh, centre conductor. Seems to have uh, melted through to the outer housing and then that was it. But geez, that glass went pretty good. Yeah, definitely not shatterproof glass that one. That could be nasty if you were rooting on the photocopier, couldn't it? Hmm. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.